welcome back to my little channel. Now I found this little clip, I will call it clip, I don't know what the better word is, about something that happened in America. And first off I need to say this, when someone is caught stealing, we universally agree that, well, theft is bad. But what happens when that person stealing is a 15 year old girl and the person holding her is a woman this is interesting look what happened in america in washington when this happened go easy on her you guys you're not you're a cop you go easy on her Hey, I got you recording, honey. It's okay. I understand that, but you know what? Safeway can't even touch her. Look at you're doing to her knee. Look at you did to her knee. Where's the cops? Let's go. Police are allowed to do that. They're going too rough. Yeah. Look at her fucking leg. Let her go. Yeah, Paul. I got it on video. Look at her fucking legs. She's resisting. I don't. Do you are you are you a cop? You're do you have a badge? A cop, you you know don't have. Yeah, absolutely. I got you. Okay. Let go. Hey, Let go you're cops. fucking hurting her. Okay, so this is the introduction we've gotten so far. There are two people trying to restrain a girl because she stole from the shop, and then you hear a lot of people shouting on how they should let her go. But wait a second, she stole. It's their job to at least stop people from getting away till the police get there. But not according to these bystanders. Because that she stole is not a problem. That she's a girl is. Never mind that the woman uh, in green is not a boy. Or at least when I hear her talk or when I see the back of the neck, the hair, I'm thinking... That's probably a woman too. So it's not two men trying to get nasty with a little girl. It's two people, two employees of a shop trying to stop a thief. Back off. No. Are you're, you the police? You're hurting her. Are you Look the police? Her. Oh, you, are, you are going to get arrested. So the dude in red is telling the people to back off. He's probably the senior of the two and he's trying to do his job. But then of course the woman is shouting, no. And there's some other guys shouting, oh, look at what you're doing to her. And oh, you're going to get arrested. No, they're not going to get arrested. What they are doing is totally legal in Washington and most of America, to be honest. They can detain someone till the police arrive or they can even make a citizen arrest. The only thing is that they have to be aware of the crime, not by someone pointing at them, but they themselves figuring out who it was. Okay. There you go. Oh, and I'm sorry, not figuring it out. They have to have seen it. But I will have links downstairs so you can check it out yourself. Yeah, yeah. I got one video. You know this is waiting on, but you're supposed to- You fucking hurt her, dude! Hey, let her go! You guys can't do that! Get the law! What are you doing? Get out! Pop it off! Get out! Get It doesn't matter! You guys by law cannot do that! Yeah, I sped up the little video a little bit because it's kind of repetitive. Then again, maybe I'm repetitive as well, but hey, it's my video, so I can do that. Oh, and did you see people trying to pull her away from the woman and the man trying to bring her inside? You, they cannot not do that. Then you call the police. You guys don't have the right in Washington to do that. I or we don't like what you're doing, therefore I or we claim you do not have the right to do that in the state of Washington. But I or we would be wrong. Links are downstairs, they are allowed to do this. Now, they're not allowed to use dangerous force or aggressive force, but they're trying to restrain her. It's not them fighting her, it's her fighting them. Which, in all fairness, she's allowed to do too, don't get me wrong, but therein lies her true problem. She's resisting, basically, a citizen's arrest. No, they cannot. They can't. They can't. You guys, 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 you
I don't understand that to be honest. Let her run! Call the cops and then they'll find her! And then there is this gem. Let her run, call the cops and then they will find her. Because the police are really good at finding people who are trying to run away and hide. Especially if you have nigh on no information on them. I mean she could have lied on who her name was. She could have lied on all sorts of things. Letting her run is not a good idea. Don't get me wrong though, don't get me wrong. If you are in danger or the situation is threatening to your own health, then yeah, let them go and let the police sort it out. But at this point in time, she is not posing a threat to the people trying to restrain her. Kind of funny how that goes, isn't it? Look at all these people. Oh my god. Yes, amazing. Look at all the people at a shopping center or large shop, whatever. Now, why are you trying to do this? Because you're using this to try and blame shame the man and woman working at the shop trying to detain a shoplifter. Why, oh why, are you taking the side of the criminal in this case? Could it by chance be because of young vagina? And then there is this. You can't do that. You know, you're taking the world. She's just paying that angle. Yo, wrestling on the ground. One fourth is this box. We're not shopping here. I'm so fucking good. He takes out the room. Here we see a third person. I assume he works at this shop as well, but it could be that he's just shopping there. I don't think so, though. And he's trying to explain that, listen, calm down, she stole. It doesn't matter though, because vagina, and I'm sorry, the only reason I can think of people shouting on how they want to let her go is because of vagina. I mean, I can show you plenty of stories where boys get arrested or stopped by bystanders even, not even people who are employed by the shop, but just bystanders. But they're boys, so they need to learn that certain behavior is not allowed. Why is this not true for girls? Yeah, that's real smart. Let's take her in there where everybody else can see it, right? Oh, I let this run a bit so that you see that I'm not taking anything out of context and whatnot. I'm not really sure if I should have let it run because there's nothing much to respond in this bit because it's basically a repeat of everything that has been happening so far. And then this question gets asked. Hey, I got it, Owen. Doesn't matter what yes, it does. You're hurting her. What did she steal? So the act of stealing in itself is no longer a problem as long as you stole something that we don't think is important. The thing is that she stole. That's the only thing. What she stole is not important. But apparently to you it is. Why? Yeah, I know. I keep asking these questions as if they're going to answer. They're not, I know. But still, it might make you think a little bit. Get out of your business. Dude, don't even cover my face, motherfucker. Okay? Get out of here. Yeah, you're real. lost prevention. You're lost prevention. I'm a customer. Don't even talk to me. Exactly. Don't even fucking talk to me. You need to leave. You're fucking right at your Are you a cop? You need to leave. Yeah. And then this fine gentleman feels that he has to speak up as well. He already did, though, because he wanted to pay the thing that she stole, because, hey, she only stole something small. But then he starts threatening people who actually work there. And then the person who works there says, you have to leave the store. Well, I'm never coming back. Good. We don't need every customer, especially not the idiot ones. But don't get me wrong on this. I mean, yes, you are allowed 
to disagree with each other. But they are still allowed to do what they are doing. So stand there, tell them to relax, all those things, that's okay. But don't try to berate them for doing their job. The girl stole. It's not that difficult, to be honest. Okay, you guys are all over the news, man. I feel sorry for you. I'm not ready. Yet. I'm ready. There's probably five or seven of them. No, sir, I'm doing my job. Then don't do your job. And the security people, they're yelling at the other people in the store, telling them they're going to jail. I don't care. They're ruining their lady on the ship. She's somebody's daughter, bud. What are you doing with your daughter? Get her name. I'm trying to get her name. You by law cannot do that. You cannot do that. Actually, actually, I am. You cannot do that. You can't. What is your name? Moselle what? Van Duver? What? How old are you, honey? Okay. Are you from here? Are you with, are you with anybody? Are you with anybody? What did you steal? Candy. Okay. I did sped up this little bit. You can listen to what they say. It's not important. What I did find interesting is that the woman who put this online, the one that's taping it, kind of doxed the little girl. I'm wondering why. Isn't her privacy of any, any meaning to this woman at all? It's all about shaming the shop. She stole. Her name is being spread on the internet by a woman who claims to help her. This is weird to me. Just stay right there. Don't fight them. Cops are coming. They're right on that street. Hey, do not move in the door. Do not move. Just calm down. Do not resist anything with the police. Loss prevention is do not have a badge. They got trained by regular, like Wingo employees. What is that? What kind of badge? I know what loss prevention is, okay? So yeah, to oh, hold them down, but do not yeah, resist them. Like, you don't beat them. So if a five-year-old five does that, would you yeah. do that to a five-year-old? Yeah. Oh, why not? Why is, why is that any different? Why is that different? You can't stop a five-year-old, but you're going to beat the shit out of a 15-year-old? That's bullshit. That is completely abuse right there. Cops, go to jail, or abuse your dog for that. You guys should be fired instantly. Now, I can understand why the shop workers would want to take her to a small office or something and not keep sitting in the hallway. But at the same time, they're sitting there, it's quiet, and the woman keeps bitching and moaning on how they are wrong. They're not, obviously, and they know this, but the woman keeps mentioning this. The thing is really weird to me because the girl did admit being a thief, but somehow being a thief is not so bad when you're a 15-year-old girl. And imagine my surprise when the woman started talking about would you do this if it were a five-year-old boy? So to compare a 15-year-old girl to a five-year-old boy, to me, kind of says it all, don't you think? Well, yeah, but she stole, she's 15. Well, would you stop a boy of 15 when she stole? Well, you're not asking that because you know the answer. So you have to make it ridiculous. But would you stop a five-year-old boy when he stole? Yeah, because a 15-year-old girl is really equal to a five-year-old boy. For fuck's sake, you are the ones claiming equality is so important. Yet everyone knows that we look differently at women. Or at girls in this humble situation. I don't get it. Why can't we recognize this and why can't we say, okay, so there is an inequality and the equality of men is less than the equality of women. Hence, there is no equality. I understand that. I know it's just... Somehow, it's worrying to me that a woman can tell a woman and a man whose job it is to stop thieves that if they hold on to a 15-year-old girl, they should think whether they would do the same to a 5-year-old boy. Anyway, this is where the police comes... You can see the black pants walking in. That's a police officer. A female police officer, mind you. And she asks what happened. And they tell her. And then she takes away the girl. It's all as if they didn't do anything wrong. What a surprise. By the way, what I did learn after reading up on this is the girl got um, charged with, well, theft or something like that. I, it's, it's in the link somewhere down below. I can't remember by heart. And at this point in time, the shop workers 
are A-OK. I know, A-OK is racism, white power and all that. Um, but yeah, no, that's how it is now. I'm not sure if that's how it's staying, but I would be very much surprised if it weren't staying like that. Anyway, feel free to like, share and subscribe if you also feel interested in doing that. And I hope to see you all soon.